You need to use this free tool in order to boost FPS, lower input delay, and fix any and all stutters in all of the games that you play. Hey everyone, it's Rek here, and inside of this video, I'll be showing you guys a free tool that you can use right now in order to optimize your windows and boost FPS in all of the games that you play, whether it be Fortnite, Valorant, Call of Duty, Minecraft, or even your mom. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button because a lot of you guys are watching these videos without even subscribing. But yeah, with that, let's just dive straight into today's video. So the tool I'm talking about is the Ultimate Windows Tweaker 4.8. Now this version is specific to Windows 10, so I have uploaded it onto my website. All you need to do is go down into the description of this video, click on the link to my website and click on the post that has the same title and the thumbnail as this video that you're watching and then just go ahead and download it from there now keep in mind that it does contain some ads which will open up in a new tab so you can just close them but those ads help run the channel because youtube doesn't pay much all right once you have downloaded the pack all you need to do is right click on it and extract it using 7-zip winrar or whatever you want and then go ahead and open it up from here what you need to do is right click on the ultimate windows tweaker and run it as administrator make sure to do that because some of the tweaks might not work if you run it normally now on the system information as it says it's going to go ahead and tell you everything about your system but we need to go into the customization tab and inside of here just go ahead and copy whatever i do so i'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the show sign out as well and then all you need to do is just go ahead and copy all of these settings that i have already applied then going into the taskbar and once again this is the only important area that you need to know and all you need to do is once again copy my settings for the file explorer there isn't much that you should be changing but other than that you can go ahead and take a look at all of my settings settings and also just make sure that the file explorer startup is set to this pc so it's just more convenient when you click on this it opens up to this pc instead of the quick access moving on to the universal uh, ui all you need to do is once again copy all of these settings now these settings uh, may help you a bit of boot up time things like disabling the login screen blur effect and thing like that or disabling the lock screen itself also disabling the slideshow and all of that good stuff also things like disabling the bing web results in Cortana search results i mean if you have katana enabled this one is going to be really useful then for this pc just leave it be there isn't much of anything that you should be changing here perhaps other than the customized inbuilt folders uh, because if you go into this pc you can see that there are the inbuilt folders uh, which you can go ahead and change add or remove from here then moving on to the user accounts and there isn't much here you should be just leaving it as is and i would just highly recommend you to skip this step then moving on to the performance and as for performance just go ahead and copy all of these three values and also copy all of these i will also disable the edge tab preloading even though i have the edge uninstalled disable parental spooling service yes disable prefetch and superfetch for older systems i wouldn't recommend it but for newer systems i would recommend disabling the superfetch service and disable tablet input yes if you don't use that and disable windows time service yes to that as well other than that leave everything as is then moving on to the security and privacy now this has a lot of settings that you should be changing changing um, but for most of it i'm just gonna run you through disable registry editor no control panel no task manager i would disable it if i'm using something like process less or anything like that disable winky shortcuts no command prompt no auto login shift override feature no disable administrative shares no timeline feature yes disable sign out ability yes disable user account control this one is highly recommended so yes disable file encryption i would if i don't uh, encrypt anything so yeah disable system restore configuration no also you can go ahead and create a system restore point at any point before applying the tweaks so that you can go ahead and revert it uh, by just clicking here and also disable mmc snap-ins yes um, context menu uh, the menu options no as for the windows feature disable onedrive yes turn off user tracking yes disable windows mobility center on laptops i wouldn't recommend it but on a pc disable this as well disable explorers context menu no disable access to taskbar content no disable windows error reporting yes and disable windows defender a uh, huge yes to that as well disable windows update service yes then moving on to the privacy and basically just go ahead and check everything except for maybe disable password reveal button i mean it's really up to you 
uh, and also disable the windows update sharing yes so check everything here but maybe not this if you do use a password moving on to the browsers and here i would just not recommend changing anything because i would recommend uninstalling the microsoft edge you can go ahead and check out my video or anybody else's video on how to completely remove the microsoft edge i am pretty sure i have shown it in some of my videos uh, probably in the windows post install guide uh, but yeah other than that going into the context menu this all is just personal things you can go ahead and add anything that you want all you need to do is check that click on apply tweak and it will be added to the context menu right here as you can see that i had already added this calculator but the only thing that i would recommend here is not cluttering up it so much that the things are harder to find because the whole purpose of this context menu is for things to be easier to find and then for the additional just go ahead and copy my settings because yeah i have already set these to the uh, optimal settings that they are there isn't much of anything that you should be changing here anyways uh, so yeah and then search for tweaks you can just basically go ahead and search for anything any tweak for example let's go into power options and as you guys can see that and then there is the about section and that's basically all that's basically all about the ultimate windows tweaker just make sure to keep in mind that you follow all of these settings that i have shown you and not mess up with anything that you don't really know about especially in the additional section because it might cause some issues with your network if you are not being careful but yeah other than that that's basically it for this video if it helped you in any way shape or form then make sure to leave a like down below so that it can reach more people and help them as well and hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a brand new video with that i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome